Hello guys, stay tuned. That's what I'm reviewing next, Mercedes-Benz S500 long wheel base. Follow me at Bobby Drives. Now this being a Mercedes, as you probably well know, Mercedes have always been at the forefront of technology. They create ABS, power steering, adaptive front lights. This has loads and loads of extras, probably a lot that I've forgotten, but I'm gonna try and go through and show you as much as I can remember. Um, just an awesome, awesome car. The owner who's lent me this car told me when he bought it brand new, uh, the list price was 88,000 uh, pounds with a whole lot of extras bringing it close to 100K. And nowadays, you can almost pit this car for about 30,000. You can actually get them as low as 20,000, but you won't get all these extras as how this has. But um, I would class that as quite a bargain. A few specs about the car. It comes with 455 brake horsepower, with 516 pounds of torque. That car is over two tons, and yet it'll get you naught to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Top speed of 155 miles an hour. But hey, it's a Mercedes. We don't really care about the top speed or how quick it goes to 060. We just want to be driven around comfortably. And this certainly does it. This car does have the benefit of being the AMG spec. It's not the AMG engine, but you have the AMG wheels, the body kits, uh, upgraded brakes and suspension, and really sets the car off really nicely. On the back, you do actually have two exhausts, which are actually open. And let me show you the reason why. A lot of cars nowadays actually have fake exhausts now if you look at this there's actually two exhausts in there mind this little plastic bit which is just broken there but you've actually got two exhausts now if you look at some Audis BMW haven't done it yet thankfully but even if you get say the S350 you actually don't have exhausts they're actually just like shells which make it look like exhaust but exhaust is actually under the bumper going straight down to the ground and it's a shame because why would you want to do that? First thing you'll notice is this centerpiece in the middle of the grille. Now that shiny black thing is actually a sensor where it detects if there's humans on the road or any animals and if need be it will apply the brakes for you and it's a really cool safe feature. The lights are awesome, these have got daytime LED running lights it's uh, got the xenon lights obviously. Now Mercedes are at the forefront of uh, making new lights and new technologies. One thing which I really, really like is if you notice here, it actually mentions Mercedes-Benz in the actual light. Just a nice little touch that they've actually done on this car. I think the rear lights are also awesome. It's like three uh, like boomerangs. Very different definitely stands out and you'll definitely know when you're, you're behind an S-Class. The wheels are 19 inch, five spoke AMG wheels. Uh, they have seen better days. The current owner has curved, curved them quite a bit. Uh, it's still really set for the car and it doesn't really compromise the ride either. Really cool safety feature. If someone's in your blind spot, you actually get a triangle right here just to show you that someone's in your blind spot and when i say blind spot i mean this area right here normally many people can't see that so um that's just super cool so guys let's go inside and i'll show you all that this is equipped with now let me just close the door silence this it's just a beautiful, beautiful cabin. So starting with, you've got two 12.3 inch screens. I basically say it's two iPads stuck together, which creates one big screen. From here, you can control pretty much all the settings about the car. Now in the middle of the console, 
you have this button here which actually raises the suspension and it brings it back down that's really good if you're going over like a high curb or bump just protects the front of the car this is to go from sports or into comfort uh, this is also to go from sports to economy but on your fuel so uh, that's quite a good button you've got another eco button there the car I'm sure is very eco-friendly uh, and you've got your volume to go up and down then you've got selection all these buttons self-explanatory sat nav radio media telephone but if you press this button it brings up on the big screen your options to have uh, massaging and vibrating seats I mean this car is just brilliant if I bring over here you'll be able to see that you've got air conditioning seats as well as heated seats as well as memory seats um, and that's your electric seats you can control them in many many ways uh, but then you could go back to the menu if you want to have a massage or to have your seats vibrated just a cool 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 feature the steering wheel I absolutely love it's finished in leather and dark veneer wood I love that it still states Mercedes-Benz so you know what you're driving uh, but it actually like floats there's no okay you'd have a middle piece just here so uh, really nice steering wheel you've got all your buttons on there to control uh, the infotainment screen uh, your phone calls and your music uh, the gear lever for your gears is now here it's no longer in the center of the console uh, and I might point it out you still have your pedal shifts to the side of the steering wheel you'll find a few extra buttons now uh, I'll go through all of these this button here is to basically make your steering wheel really light so if you're on a city um, and you have to park this makes your steering wheel really light easy to turn that's lane assistance so if you're on a motorway and you're dozing off a little bit which you shouldn't be doing uh, if you press this button it basically will vibrate your steering wheel and start making some noises to let you know that you're going to someone else's lane that's to turn off your parking sensors and this is your 360 degree angle so if i press that and i bring you over here to the screen it shows you a 360 degree this screen here on the left that sets you a bird's eye view of this car in action right now so if I put it into drive and I'm going to go left I mean how crazy is that it's a bird's eye view of the car it must have cameras around where it takes loads of shots of the outside because if I go back to where I was before I'm actually near a bush or a, a bit of grass let's call it <laughs> It actually picks up the grass if you can see it right there and if I show you outside there's the grass I don't know in a video if it picks up this blue neon light so this neon light goes all the way into the back now just so you know this color can be changed to pretty much any color that you like but at night time it just really makes you feel like you're somewhere else this car also comes with an upgraded sound system uh, it's the Vice Master one so if I press this button to turn on the radio can you see how the speakers come out so I press that again just watch it go in what a masterpiece this car also has a really cool sunroof so if you look up it's just a black roof right now same with the rear uh, but then if i press this button just here first of all that opens so you can see the glass and the natural sunlight but if you look to the rear if i press another button the back has its own sunroof so that means this car's not got one but you've got two sunroofs in the rear to give you extra privacy there's a button out front for the chauffeur to press where we'll give you a privacy rear blind to add more privacy if I press the up button on uh, the window switch check this just give me that extra more privacy I mean that's great but look at the little window Talk about you know no one looking in that is just that is brilliant another cool feature that mercedes thought about now this is quite a wide car so if your passenger's left his seat really far back and you want to 
maneuver it. It's no point reaching over. Just simply press this button here on your electric seat. Now, through my electric seats, I can control the passenger's seat. Back and forth, up and down, whatever I want. Uh, meaning, I don't have to reach over. I can just do it from my own side. Guys, it's getting a bit dark outside, so uh, I hope you guys can still see me. Uh, but I'm going to be hopping in the back because that's where you really want to be in this S-Class. This is quite annoying because it's raining outside and I actually wanted to get some more outside shots and videos. Use my tripod, but um, I think I'm going to be in this cabin for a long while. Now, before we get into the rear, there is a cool feature I really want to show you. Mercedes has a feature called soft closing doors. So the doors open right now. If I close it and I'll just leave it a little bit opened, the door goes in by itself. So let me just show you the side angle. I'm opening it and then I go to close it. Did you see that? It sucks the door right in. And before we enter, I just want to show you this really cool Mercedes Benz logo, uh, which is actually illuminated. So as it gets dark, that will stand out even more. But uh, let's hop in. Now, now, this is also an extra. This is actually two tones. So you've got the white levers uh, with the black stitching going around, but then the door cards are actually black with the white inserts. The carpets are black. So it's actually a two tone between the black and the white. These headrests are really cool. It reminds me when you're on a plane, you can actually push them and mold them into the shape that you want. So if you want to go for a little nap, there you go. Another cool feature, you can press this button here and if you don't like your passenger or if they are irritating you, by pressing that button, you can now control their front seat. So if I press this, their seat is now moving forward. So you can literally push them right to the dashboard, meaning it gives you plenty of space in the back. And I'm gonna to switch to an outside view so you'll see how much space this is now giving me in the rear. This um, does actually have the upgraded uh, rear cabin which is a business edition meaning that you get two individual seats uh, as opposed to three seats in the back um, and it does mean the back left passenger gets this enormous space I'm able to press a button where the front uh, passenger seat goes all the way forward and then this lucky person in the back gets to spread their legs out which I'll be showing you in just a second now guys being in the back of this car this is exactly where you want to be uh, it's a car that you really want to be driven around as opposed to be driving. Uh, but in the back, I'm just cocooned in loads of luxury. Uh, I've got a beautiful screen here, and I don't know if you can see it from there. You get these really fancy controls, and I can just control everything that I want from there. I can actually go to my navigation, my radio, my media. Uh, I'll just turn it off and on if I wanted to. So that's really, really cool. Uh, there's a button here. If I press this, now, the dry, the, sorry, the passenger seat goes all the way forward and it starts to go into a position where it will allow me to take my seat all the way uh, back and almost like a bed. So if you just bear with me, it does take a bit of a while. I am done. Another cool thing is, you open up the rear center console. Say you're going to a meeting, but you need to send some emails. Well, hey, just do it right here. Or if you're hungry and you've got some McDonald's, eat it right here. I mean, that is just brilliant. The engineering in this, let's not forget, you do get um, loads and loads of uh, headphones which I've got to admit are really, really, really snazzy. So if you don't want to disturb other people and what you're watching, you can just stick these on and uh, that's really good. Another thing that you can't see from there, but I will show you in a second, we actually have a rear fridge. So guys, this is what I was talking about by opening this and this, you actually have a fridge in there. I mean, how awesome and cool is that? So whether you like your champagnes, because you can see right there, they've got the gap to put the champagne bottle at the top, or you like your Cokes and your Fantas, 
you've got a nice place to keep them chilled. You'll also notice how cool uh, the seats are. They actually have like their own buckets, you could say, where they kind of fall into. So if I, excuse my recording, so if I go like that, you should be able to see they fall into this space, meaning that you can recline the rear seats quite a bit. It's a nice feature. Really good TV in a car. Got to admit the quality is actually rather good. And then that's the view of the cockpit. It's starting to get darker, so you will be able to see uh, the purple blue neon lights coming through a bit more now, uh, especially in the back as well. Another cool feature, uh, if you're adjusting the front passenger seat, uh, your TV will keep adjusting so it doesn't affect you. How cool is that? Also, being a 4.7 uh, litre V8, it actually has some grunt. Check it out. So guys, let's now take it for a drive. Cool things is, just so you know, these seat belts have actually got airbags in them. So if you were to ever get in a cold crash, these will kind of go into like a tube, so it doesn't like damage you or give you even more whiplash or pain. Cool fact. The thing is, I have to keep the lights on because it's got a bit dark outside and otherwise you guys won't really be able to see me. So uh, I'm gonna keep the lights on for now. I'll tell you one thing it does have, it has that like electronic steering where um, I'm not really the biggest fan of it um, sometimes you move a little bit and it just the car jolts very quickly um, so that's one thing I'm not too sure about so we are going to go left got it in sports as well I did mention before that this car does uh, 0 to 60 in 4.8 oh yeah I just remembered it's a Mercedes we don't need to talk about speed uh, but it does seriously have some grunt in this car. But when you've got a car like this, which costs the best part of £100,000, it's nice to take it quite gentle. Cars like this, you know, it's not like a BMW M3 or like a, uh, a C63 MG. This is a luxury car. This is a car that you just drive slowly or sometimes you get driven around in. Um, other cars make me want to drive them fast. This car, it makes me want to drive slow. It makes me want to take my time and enjoy the ride. At the same time, give it a kick down. And it absolutely goes. Oh, didn't expect that. That is actually very, very quick. Being the S500, enough power. It's got loads of torque, so low end grunt. And, um, it just absolutely flies. Very, very little road noise. Surprisingly for a car this big and this heavy, there's not that much roll. I have got it in sports mode at the moment, so it does toughen up the suspension a bit more, makes the steering wheel a bit sharper. Um, but yeah, it's, it handles very well. I've driven loads of the older uh, S-Classes and this is a huge improvement. And uh, yeah, really like it. Mercs are not really the best with pedal shifts. Uh, I've said this to many people before. I think uh, BMW have nailed it, Audi has nailed it. The new generation of Mercedes that have actually got a much better pedal shift gearbox. Uh, but with these ones, I just find they're, they're a bit slow. When I want to uh, go down a gear, it just, it doesn't let me go down a gear. So uh, let's take a right. So now, on gear one. It just takes a bit of a while. But at the same time, you can just put in automatic and just let it, let everything, well, let the car do it for you. <laughs> you actually do get good miles per gallon out of this car. Um, if you do drive it, not like how I'm driving it, you will actually get uh, 31 to 33 miles per gallon. And that's not bad. This is still, you know, a five litre, well, the correction, a 4.7 litre twin turbo petrol. So, uh, 
yeah, I, I think that's actually uh, not so bad numbers. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the inside of this car. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed it um, and all the cool features about this car, the outside and inside, the way it drives. Uh, I call it a boat and wheels, but in the most nicest way possible. It is pure luxury. It's so quiet inside and uh, I really wish I owned one. Uh, but I will be getting some more videos out soon. So if you did like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button uh, and follow me at Bobby Drives. See you soon.